All right, this is a little bit longer form video and Mary and I are in the closet. <laughs> we tried to make like a little uh, black box <laughs> area. It's the darkest area we can find. <laughs> Once we turn the light off. Yeah, so we've done a couple of videos that were shorts about the difference between a black light and a UV light during rock hounding. So we wanted to give you an idea of what that looked like without rushing through the whole thing. This is called scapolite, scapolite. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember what the name of it, but we wanted to show it to you in, in normal light, just so you have an idea, right? Very nice. And now I'm gonna hit it with a black light. So we're gonna turn off the lights real quick. And this is what it looks like with a black light. I'll shine above it a little bit. See the yellow in there? Looks pretty cool. If I hit it direct, it washes out on film. Yes. On film. <laughs> on video. So I kind of move it around a little bit. But you can see that it's got some yellow in there, which is pretty cool. So we'll turn the light back on. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to use the UV light. All right. And the reason I have these glasses sitting here is because the UV light actually comes with those. Because you shouldn't shine a UV light in your eyes or anybody else's eyes. We're not gonna we don't need to worry about wearing those tonight because we're you know we're not shining them at each other or anything else <laughs> thank you so again there's the there's the scapo light under regular light you saw it under the black light and now we're gonna hit it with the uv light and the uv light is gonna make it look really cool if i can find the on button there it is check that out <laughs> way better well, what's funny is it looks like it's behind it's like surrounded by a galaxy of stars <laughs> that's the funny thing about the uv light look at the sweater there can you yeah. see all the stars yeah look at that <laughs> it's not dust or anything it's just that's nope. material that's in the uh yeah black. it's clean i promise yeah so that is the uv light yeah versus the black light i'm gonna turn the black light on one more time real quick without having to shut anything off so you can see the difference and there's the black light yeah, it's more it's good, but it doesn't work as good as that. Yeah. Right. So now we're going to show you a couple more so you have an idea. And we're not going to do the whole black light comparison anymore mm -mm. just because now you have an idea. So I'm going to move this and I'm going to bring over what's called Icelandic spar. Can you see that? Yeah. It just looks like a white crystal. Yeah. It's okay. Cool looking. It's called a, they used to call it a sunstone because rumor has it back in the day, they to navigate when it was cloudy they would hold this up to the sky and then they could still see where the sun was vikings that vikings was. what did i say no no one you didn't i didn't just, say anybody you just... <laughs> yeah. so that's how the the vikings apparently navigated during the day with this stuff but anyway mm -hmm. so that's what it looks like under regular light very nice and now we're going to hit it with a, a uv light the black light doesn't really do much to it at all Check that out. Ooh. Peaky purpley. Yeah, I'm going to try not to hit it direct. If I hit it direct, it just looks white. But yeah. look at that. that How cool. cool is that? It is so pink. I wish you could see it better on film. But uh, on video, <laughs> you can date yourself pretty quick. Yeah. That but, looks so cool. Yeah. It's super, super pink. When you uh, get it with a UV light. I, yeah. I, you know what? I'll go ahead and hit it with the black light just so you can get an idea of the difference doesn't really do much at all it's, it's definitely doesn't turn pink no <laughs> so black light just looks blue uv light pink yeah. all right let's do another one okay so let's go for how about a uper light okay these are pretty cool i'm gonna let uh Ooh, show goodness. you what that Sorry looks about like that, guys. all right so so it just looks like a skipping stone right it doesn't look it's not yeah. all that impressive. It's a rock. Right. It's a nice rock. You would hold that in your hand and say, that's a nice rock. <laughs> all but... right. You ready? I'll turn the light off. Okay, it? you turn the light off. So you can stay focused. There yeah. You. All right. And this is with the UV light. Whoa. And I'm pretty much hitting it direct. Yeah. There we go. How's that? That's See the good. purple? It even has a little smiley face that's winking at you. It Isn't that does. funny? <laughs> turn it. A little orange. See, no. how, see how crazy the difference is? Yeah. And the, I think the other side's got a little bit. It's got like stripes, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is pretty cool. And that's a Uper light, and that is specifically named for the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, where they're found, which uh, anyone who is from the UP is called a Uper. So that's why it's called Uper light. That's cool. Yeah. I might as well hit it with the black light just so you can see, because <laughs> I'm actually a little curious 
I don't think, yeah, it does a little. It does a little. And this is a huge black light. I mean, it's gigantic. It is, it's big. Oh. So that's what it looks like without. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's gigantic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just not gonna not gonna be that cool. All right, here's some more. This I love this one. So this is called Rubicite. All right. Check this out. Yeah, it's burgundy. It's it's actually green ish. Yeah, greeny blue blue yeah. screen. And it, it kind of falls apart a little bit, like yeah, like like it's made out falling. of sand or something. Mm -hmm. But watch this. This is this cool. is crazy. I love this. Ready? Mm -hmm. Boom what how cool is that and i wish you could see how there, crazy see it if is. i can get that there yeah like like there is some deep intensity that the video is just not picking up no it's like ruby, right over, ruby, yeah, ruby like red. over in this corner yeah i wish i very could. cool i'll try to move it a little bit from my there hand. you go that was good right there yeah because then you can kind of see yeah. there's brighter specs and they're even brighter if you're not looking through the screen oh that's a good one rubicite isn't that cool? And the black light literally does virtually nothing to this. Mm -hmm. I know I've tested it before. Yeah. So that's a, that's a really cool one. I like a lot. I'm turning the light back on so you can see. Again, it's green. It's it's, it's just it's like this uh, pale green. Yeah. And again, you can Pretty. do it with the light on. Yeah. That actually so if you're helps. Actually, that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? All right. We'll do a couple more here real quick. And I'm going to put a link to... Uh, to this flashlight in the description so you can get an idea of i'm gonna do a couple at a time here so what we have here i'm nobody we don't know what this rock is <laughs> but mystery it just, rock it looks cool uh what we have here is uh wait uh i want to say feldspar fluoride on fluoride the right. mm -hmm. and i'm not too sure what this is we we literally go out at night sometimes and find stuff in in the driveway or We're not we have a little at all. yeah <laughs> we have a little rocky beach near us that you can go out there and like i said you can do it during the day but we go at night to take a look at some stuff and we find the craziest things all right you ready yep check this out Ooh. see that one in the back yeah i still we don't know what that is it's, but it, it, it's really cool. It's like a little tiny youper light somewhere in someone's driveway in Virginia. <laughs> yeah. So there's the uh, um, fluorite. Fluorite. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hit it without washing it out. Yeah. See how it turns like purple? Yeah. It's kind of deep. Yeah. And then this one kind of turns almost the same color. It's a little bit brighter. Yeah. Oops. Now it's Oop. washed out. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Nice. But that's really cool. Because you would other otherwise you would just think there's a piece of quartz. Yep. So yeah, let's move on to the next. I do like one more for you to give you some uh, ideas here. And turn the light back on so you can see what they look like. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Hello. More, uh, what do you call it? Uh, garnet. So you see what they look like in the light. Nice rocks. Yeah, Those cool. are some nice rocks. You wouldn't even think that was anything. If you, if you ran across it. Especially the one it. on the right. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Check this out. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's wow. just so cool looking. Like I said, you would you would just walk right past that. Mm-hmm. That one on the, especially the one on the right, just looked like a yellow rock. And then this one does a little bit of show and tell. Yeah, that one's cool. It's pretty cool. Not as cool as the one on the right, but. <laughs> Man, I wish you could see these in person. That is so ruby red. They're so much more intense in it, person. Yeah, it looks like a candy apple red almost, like mm -hmm. the old school paint jobs that they used to do. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to just show you some uh, glass that will do this. Really cool stuff that they used to make back in the 30s and 40s um, called uranium glass. So it's it's pretty cool stuff. And some cadmium glass too, And cadmium right? too. That lights up a little differently as well. Mm -hmm. They stopped making it for a long time because it's it's radioactive. <laughs> it's inert, but it's really cool. So, But we wanted to do a little bit longer form video on this and encourage you, if you are a rock hound, to go out there and get yourself a UV light instead of a black light. They're not even that expensive, really. This was less than $30. So we'll see you in a minute with the glass. And this is uranium glass. I also have one piece of cadmium glass. Now they look pretty cool under a black light like we've been talking about, 
but they look even better under UV light. I'll show you both real quick. Ooh. So this is the black light. <laughs> so cool. Pretty cool stuff. They still make some of this glass, but it was real popular way back in the day. So that's the black light. They look pretty good under a black light. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do the UV light. So turn that off. Now the UV. How's that? Real similar. Yep. For the glass. Mm -hmm. It's not like the, the gems and minerals where you, it's definitely right. a different, different uh, look, but it just looks a little bit better, I think, under the UV light. So yeah, that is your uranium glass, the, all the green that you see here. I think all these were made back in the 40s, 40s. I believe. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is cadmium glass, and I'm not sure, too sure how old that one is. It's, but it's give or it's, take 10 years from the uranium. Yeah, so you can still, you can mean, you, it's radioactive, yes, but it's inert. You can eat off of it, you can drink <laughs> out of it, it's <laughs> totally fine. But it looks really cool, especially around uh, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your uh, uranium glass and the cadmium glass.